Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am not sick. I refuse to put a label on my condition right now. I'm just... I need maintenance. I've been sick for a few days now and honestly, I just got really tired of sitting around. Um, I mean, I haven't really been sitting around. I mean, cooking and cleaning and doing stuff. But I wanted to film a video. I really wanted to play with makeup. This video has like no rhyme or reason to it. I just want to put makeup on my face. I am going to an appointment later today. Gonna go get laser hair removal. Because that's always really fun. I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I was just on this quest to find the perfect foundation complexion situation just in case I end up doing my own makeup for my wedding because I lord knows I have no idea what's happening but um, I'm just on this quest it's never ending so I have been trying different primers with foundations foundation cocktails foundation concealer powders different setting powders and then methods and it's a lot. My brain literally wants to explode. All the days I'm not filming, I'm literally testing all of these things out. So today I'm testing something out because, <laughs> you know, that's just how it always is. So I have not tried the Tatcha, what is this, the Silk Canvas Primer in such a long time. Like it's been forever since I've dipped into this. And every time I watch people's videos, they literally swear by this and it kind of got me to want to try it again. So let's just get started. Let me zoom you guys in a little. So like I said, I'm going to go into the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer. I lost my little spatula thing, so I'm just going to use my finger. It really says to use the tiniest amount of this, and everyone uses always too much, including me. So, I mean, this is actually a lot less than I usually use, but I'm just going to really rub this into my skin, focus kind of like in my T-zone, and just... Really push it into the skin so it really smooths, gets into the pores. It feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie, like I actually really did like this primer, but it's just been a while and I don't remember. I already feel like I need more. How do they expect you to use like the tiniest little pea size? No, no such thing. I'm not gonna lie, I still feel like I could have gotten in with more, but I don't wanna overdo it because if your primer says to use a small amount, I'm assuming a lot of it might not give you your desired. Thing. What what's happening here now? I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow And this is in number two light absolutely love this stuff. I like to wear this Under my foundation as like a little glowy highlight after my foundation But I kind of put this all over my face because it just looks absolutely stunning if you have like a really good skin day or you just have like really nice skin or you're just really not into makeup, but you want your skin to look very youthful, glowy. This is really nice because it gives your skin the tiniest tint. It's not like there's no coverage, but like a tint and a glow. It's really pretty. Let me blend it out and show you. I'm just going to blend it in with the Il Maquillage Foundation Blending Brush. It's a really nice one. doesn't really matter. You can use your hands, a sponge, whatever. I just like using a brush with this one. Oh, do you see that glow on the skin? It is so freaking pretty. And you could totally mix this with your foundation to give it like a more luminous, glowy feel. I like to mix it up and use different foundations on my channel all the time just so I can like really test out like all the foundations that I have. But for the sake of me trying out like the most perfect base, I'm going to use a foundation I've been really, really loving. It's one of my absolute favorites. I trust this foundation, and I want to see how it wears with the Tatcha Primer, and I haven't really worn these two together before. So, with that said, I'm going into the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I have 30NN and 20NN. I like to mix these because um, too light, too dark, undertone is still really off for me, but it'll do. Did I mix a good color? I think so. I think that's fine. I'm just swiping this on with my foundation brush. I haven't used one of these since like, I don't know, the eighth grade. This is literally how everyone used to apply their makeup with one of these brushes. All the makeup artists, this is like what they would do. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. This is looking really pretty the way it applies it. I am going to go into my sponge. I don't know why I chose to apply my foundation like this. I have no idea why I even grabbed this brush. I want to say this is from Ofra. I remember Ofra having a really good sponge. Um, I'm just going to press the foundation. It looks pretty blended on my skin in a lot of areas, but I just want to go in and make sure 
I have no streaking and everything is just kind of like meshed into the skin really nicely. I didn't go too overboard with the amount of foundation I put on my skin because truth be told my skin's doing pretty well right now and I don't really need to go too heavy. You can still see the Charlotte Tilbury kind of peeking through the foundation. The skin still looks super like luminous and glowy. It's so freaking pretty. I don't know. I really like this. And everything is sitting on my skin really nicely so far. Before I get into concealer, I'm going to go into my cream contour because I like to do this first. And if I feel like I put too much cream contour, I can go in with my concealer and clean it up. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in Fair. Really, really like this stuff. I cleaned off the little foundation brush I used. I'm just going to go straight into the product pull some out and I'm going to apply this to my face on the areas that I would generally contour. I'm gonna make sure to get into the hairline. That was probably too much product in there. My hair is just doing things out of my control now, so <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take that same brush we used to put the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless and I'm gonna just blend out the contour with this. And if I need to go into my sponge and just really blend and push it into my skin, I will, but I really like blending out cream contour with brushes because it's just so much quicker and easier. I always try to do my cream contouring a little higher lately. I find that sometimes I go a little too low, but the point of the contour is to kind of give you those high cheekbones. And if you do it too low, sometimes it just drags your face down. You want everything to be high, lifted, you know? We're blended out, but I'm going to go into my sponge like I said, and I am going to use the butt of it that I used to blend out my foundation and I'm just gonna go over top just to make sure we don't have any harsh edges, any patchiness, nothing like that. I'm not getting any younger and I've been noticing, you know, certain lines on my face getting a little bit more prominent. Lately, the new thing is this straight line across my forehead that no matter what I do, when I'm not even making any expressions, I have a line straight across my forehead. I've always had it, but it's getting worse and worse, and no matter what I do, it's just there. For my concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. Honestly, I've been really liking this since I started using it again, and it just looks really pretty. I don't wanna go too overboard with this. It's definitely quite heavy duty, so I'm just going to cover those bags uh, right in here. Gosh, there's like so much purple under my eyes. And then I'm going to kind of Put a little on my chin, any little spots that I have. I'm gonna avoid my forehead because I really don't need more product up there. So I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose to highlight and I think we're good. Maybe you guys can help me. If you were to get married or you did get married or it's the most important day of your life and you have to do your own makeup, what is your go-to favorite like foundation routine? What are your like holy grail products that you know your makeup is gonna last long, not settle in your lines, not crease, and not get cakey, and just look really beautiful in photographs? Like this is a lot to ask, wow. <sighs> is there such thing? But let me know, like I would appreciate so much because I will literally try everything you guys tell me to. I have been. I think I asked this on Instagram once and I got so many different responses and I have been trying a lot of combinations lately. Like I'm going crazy. I'm like forgetting what I've even used. So let me know. I would appreciate it so very much. Help a girl out. This is definitely overkill, but I'm going into my NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Affogato, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit right in here. I don't know why I have like this extra amount of darkness that I want to conceal, but I don't wanna go in with more Tarte Shape Tape. I wanna go in with something a little more lightweight, although the NARS still has amazing coverage, but it's a little bit more of a lightweight concealer. Normally, I wear the shade Vanilla in the NARS concealer, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was vanilla when I picked it up, and then it wasn't, and then I got really lazy to find vanilla, so we just went with the shade. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder, because it's just a good powder, and I'm going to press this into my skin with a sponge. I haven't decided if I like baking or if I want to bake. I kind of just press the powder into my skin until it kind of like disappears. Maybe that is baking, who knows? But I feel like if I put too much powder and let it sit, I feel like it's gonna soak up everything and my skin's gonna look dry. Maybe we should try it today. I haven't really tried 
baking and leaving it on for like a hundred million years. Maybe let's try it today. I always see people doing it and the makeup looks so pretty all the time. So maybe I'm just missing out on something. Then again, baking is not for everyone. Some people's skin does not like baking whatsoever. Pressing the powder. How do people get it to be so like bright white powder? Like I'm picking up a lot of powder here. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. But some people, it's like this heavy amount of powder. How do you do that? Am I not doing it right? I feel like, oh, mm -mm, yeah, I guess that's okay. And then we're gonna do a little bit of something like that. All right, so people usually leave it on like this and then they go ahead and do their brows and then wipe it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I've been kind of wanting to do like a video where I follow like a makeup artist techniques on doing makeup because it's very different from like my everyday. So if you guys wanna see videos like that, let me know and let me know like what makeup artist you guys want me to follow the steps or follow a video or whatever. What am I saying and why am I doing this? I'm gonna fill in my brows with the Fenty Brow MVP in the shade Dark Ash Blonde. Absolutely love this stuff. So, you know, this part's not really fun or exciting. I always say that, but I feel like there's that one person who really looks forward to watching people put their brows on and you know what? Who am I to judge? Who am I to take that away from them? So this is for you. I will not lie though, looking up close at my face, my forehead right here looks so dry. Oh my god. I hope it looks better when I dust my face off because that is terrifying. Yeah, that's the thing about baking. Like, it really just mattifies and will take all the moisture out of your face um, because that powder is soaking everything in, but up, not in. Is soaking everything up but it will leave your makeup more locked in that's like the purpose of it but we'll see I mean like I said it's not for everybody if you have super dry skin I don't think baking is your best friend unless you do have dry skin and you bake and you are a genius and you know everything and I clearly don't all right it's been a few minutes I think it's time to wipe this bake off um, I'm kind of scared I don't know why I feel like I'm just gonna have like this dry powder stuck to my face <laughs> I hope not. Okay, it is wiping away nicely. I don't have like crustiness under my eyes, which is good. Okay, not bad. Okay, that was not as scary. Let's do the cheeks here. I definitely see like a cast of like the powder, but I am gonna go into some bronzer and fix that up a little bit. I don't know why I did that. I feel like I should have done that after I did my bronzer, I feel like, to really clean it up because it's kind of pointless. Because I'm not really chiseled right now. Everyone, I just watch these videos and people look so flawless in their videos and I just don't. <laughs> For my bronzer, I'm going to use the ColourPop Coconut Beach Bronzer. I really do like this a lot. It's a really pretty matte shade and I'm going to use that on my favorite. Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek. The best brush ever. And I'm going to just take a little amount of this. I'm going to bring it into my forehead and also kind of bring it into my hairline because you know you don't want it to be like so different in skin tone because our scalps are always a little bit lighter than our face so yeah I have to stop finishing my sentences with so yeah it's such a bad habit like on camera I don't talk like that in real life so I don't know why I would say that on camera I think sometimes it's like such an awkward abrupt ending to my sentence that I don't want to it's like I don't know what to say so I just say so yeah so yeah <laughs> super random blush that I've never tried before I don't even know what brand this is Dome dome and english rose it's a gorgeous color very very pretty i got this in one of my um monthly unboxings that i did i was about to say so yeah and i i cut myself off and then i'm going to sweep this onto my cheeks in an upwards motion that is really pretty i like it Ooh, wow okay this builds up like really quickly so you want to be very careful what is this hair let's do the other side as well Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my god, I love this blush. See, sometimes you discover new things, new brands that no one ever talks about. Guys, ooh la la, I love my makeup so far. Okay, so highlighter. Honestly, there's been like one highlighter I've been using for the past, I don't even know how long, and I think I'm still gonna use it because I really like it a lot. The Nabla Cosmetics Skin Glazing. Highlighters, glass skin finish, and I have ozone and amnesia. I mean, I have more colors, 
but these two are my favorites and I love using them together. So Amnesia is more of a really pretty golden shade, shade, sheen, shade. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take that on this Morphe R36 brush, okay? And I'm going to just sweep this like that. And I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones. So this shade, I like to go a little bit more like diffused. I like to use this highlighter for like more of a diffused glow like all over and then I'll go into the other shade and use it kind of like in the center just for like an extra pop. Now we go into ozone which is like a really soft champagne -y color. Put a little on the tip of my nose. <gasps> oh just look at that. Oh my god the shade. Oh. Take this shade right in the center like that to really just make those cheeks pop. Mm. Look at this face. Isn't it neat? My highlight is popping. My face is so beat. I'm sorry. What is this? This is on my vanity. I think I unboxed this too. It's just sitting here and it's from Tipsy Lip Crush Lip Oil. Okay. Well, my lips are really dry, so maybe let's add some and see what happens. Oh my god, smells so good. Oh no, it's making my lips pink. Oh, it changes color. Oh, it's like a tint. Uh-oh. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, it's getting darker, progressively. Is it a stain though? Cause that might be an issue. I just continuously apply it. Okay, well, it feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of don't like this color on me. I, I'm not like a pink lip type of girl. Oh, I didn't think this through. I don't actually know what I'm gonna use on my eyes. <laughs> don't get mad, don't get sad, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything like dramatic, colorful, glittery, sparkly liners. I'm going to a laser hair removal appointment and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral, natural, just simple. I think I'm actually gonna use this palette again. Um, like I said, I have a video coming up, or maybe probably went up before this, where I literally use like all these colors on my eyes. But I wanna kinda go in the more natural route with this palette too, and create something a little more every day. So I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Porchata. Oh, this is the BH Cosmetics and La Vie Don Prince collab palette. It's super pretty, you guys. These shades are buttery, amazing, and beautiful. This shade right here, Brio Um, oh, it's so soft. Like, I am obsessed with this shadow, and I, you bet your butt I'm putting this on my lid. So, I'm taking Horchata first, which is a matte nude shade, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of set my eye a nice little base color. I am so sorry. I forgot to zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of 1992 and a little bit of cocoa. I'm gonna mix these two shades together. Whatever's left on my brush, I like to swipe it upwards, um, kind of give the effect of like the eye going up. Instead of just keeping it round and cutting it off, I like to try to get the shadow to go up. I'm gonna take the teeny tiniest amount of this yellow shade. It's called Noel, and same brush, small like a tap and then a tap i'm gonna just run this right through like this top part to add a little bit of that warmth and then i'm gonna pull upwards Ooh, oh i love that you guys are probably like i don't see a difference i don't i don't get it but no no it's there it's there don't don't you worry i'm gonna take this like smaller more flat eyeshadow brush and i'm going to just go into the shade coco which was the brown shade and I'm going to only apply that on my lower lash line. With the same brush, same shade cocoa, I'm actually gonna go right on top of my top lash line with this color and just blend it out. I think we're good with that. Now, my favorite part, I'm gonna take the shade Brio right here and I'm finger, finger. I'm gonna use my finger. This is a very soft, like, oh my God. This is literally, feels like a cream shadow. And I'm going to just top this on my lid this lip color is throwing everything off my god i really hope that did not stain my lips because i don't know why i'm just not a fan of pink or like fuchsia i'm taking a little bit of brio with the brush and i'm going to just pop a little on my brow bone as well Mm -hmm. I really like that. I feel like I need a little bit of a liner action, but not like an eyeliner. I want to create like a very soft shadow wing with like a 
brown shadow. I feel like cocoa is going to be a little bit too light and we already like use that color. I need something a little bit darker. I'm going to go to the shade in the Frankation palette. It's called Sheens, I think. Uh, this really dark matte brown is very pretty. I don't know, it doesn't really matter what brown shadow you use. This just happens to be right next to me. I'm taking that on an angled brush and I am just going to tap that really close to my lash line. So here we have with the liner and then this is without. It just kind of adds a little something to the eye. It's really pretty. I love doing this. I love me a shadow wing. I'm going to do a combo of the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Benefit Bad Gal bang mascara um i like to use this with like other mascaras it's really nice for like separating the lashes and this is nice for giving it like fullness and volume so these are really good all right so this is the finished eye look it's really easy soft and pretty but it just gets the job done and my eyes look like very awake and fresh now i'm gonna remove this lip fingers crossed it was not a stain you guys Well, I think it definitely stained a little bit. I'll cover that up. Let me just finish my coffee. I think for now, I'm going to just align my lips with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. And I'm going to just kind of apply it everywhere and see how that looks. This lip liner is a pretty warm tone and somehow it still looks pink. Let me see what I can do. I mean, it's pretty. It looks really good. But I think I might layer it with something else. I go to the Pat McGrath Lip Pencil in the shade Contour, which is definitely a lot more of like a brown tone, and see what happens. A little bit better, but I definitely need to go into a lipstick because I still see so much of that pink peeking through. What did I do? That was my fault, you guys. When I go into this Milani Bold Matte Lipstick in I Am Worthy brand new lipstick it's a very very pretty color hopefully that goes but it's definitely not pink that is a really pretty lip combo i love the formula it says bold matte but it's not like a super powdery or dry matte feel it's kind of it's like a very comfortable matte i love this i think the lip combo is beautiful i literally was gonna throw on like a gloss or something but you know we went full lip. All right, we are done. This is the final look. Um, I think overall it looks absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, it's definitely um, a bit much just to go get laser hair removal, but um, it's really pretty and I feel good in it. I don't look sick, which is very important. Let me assess my face because I've definitely worn my base for a little bit now. It looks really good. It has not settled anywhere on my face. There's no cakiness, no dryness, nothing like that. It actually looks pretty pretty dang good you guys wow okay even in between my brows where i always always have these frown lines and my forehead i have like very small lines but it's not like the makeup's not settled in them it's just my natural uh you know i it's a permanent line there i can't do anything about it but it hasn't settled into that which looks really good and my forehead looks really good i could see a very faint line but again the makeup has not settled into it it's just my face doing it with that said i am really loving this look i'm kind of digging this like monochromatic vibe it's like very warm like browns i don't know it's really really pretty i really like it a lot i hope you guys enjoyed this video whatever this video was i hope you guys just enjoyed kind of getting ready with me and playing with some makeup Oh, yes, that was my elbow. Hopefully I wake up tomorrow feeling a lot better. But thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I would appreciate it so very much. And also hit that little bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. With all that said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.